Hey there, space enthusiasts. Get ready to blast off into the cosmos with us. Welcome to Spaceverse, where the universe is our playground and curiosity knows no bounds. Join us on an interstellar adventure as we dive into the depths of space, uncovering its mysteries and marvels. From the secrets of black holes to the landscapes of alien worlds, we're here to ignite your imagination and expand your cosmic horizons. With mind-blowing visuals, expert insights, and the thrill of exploration, Spaceverse is here to get to the ultimate cosmic journey. So strap in, hit that subscribe button, and let's embark on an epic voyage together into the vast unknown of Spaceverse. Out there in the faraway parts of our solar system, unseen powers are at play, shaping the paths of distant space objects. These movements hint that there might be a hidden ninth planet, called Planet Nine. This mysterious world could teach us new things about space. In the upcoming video, we'll talk about the latest findings suggesting it might be out there, look at the evidence supporting this idea, and discuss how scientists are trying to find it. The search for Planet Nine started because some things in space, like Sedna and 2012 VP113, move in strange ways. They're way past Neptune, and their paths are stretched out and tilted weirdly, which can't just be explained by the gravity from planets we already know about. The idea that there might be another planet out there, hiding where we can't see it, is pretty exciting. As scientists dig deeper into the mysteries of these faraway objects, they're more and more curious about the idea of a hidden planet beyond what we already know. The strange behavior of certain space objects is a big reason why scientists are so interested, sparking a big effort to uncover more about what's out there. The intrigue of Planet Nine isn't just about filling in gaps in our knowledge of space, it's also about the thrill of exploring and finding something new. With each new discovery and improvement in how we look at space, we get closer to unlocking the secrets of this mysterious planet, giving us a peek into the amazing things waiting for us in the universe. The proof of Planet Nine mostly comes from how it affects these TNOs with its gravity. Scientists have noticed that many of these objects have similar paths around the sun, which suggests something big is pulling on them. When they look at the numbers, it seems unlikely that this is just our inim coincidence. Instead, it looks like there's a big planet out there, about 10 times heavier than Earth, hanging out hundreds of times farther from the Sun than we are. To understand how this planet might be affecting these TNOs, scientists have used fancy computer programs to simulate what's happening in the outer parts of our solar system. These simulations show that a big planet far away could naturally create the kind of paths these TNOs are on. For example, they suggest that Planet Nine could keep following its path around the Sun for the whole lifespan of the solar system. Meanwhile, it could also gather up these TNOs and make them stick together in their orbits by tugging on them in just the right way over time. Additionally, scientists are using careful studies of how things move in space to help with the search. They're looking at stuff like how long it takes for objects to orbit, how tilted their paths are, and how stretched out they are. By comparing these measurements with what they expect if Planet Nine is out there, they can make better guesses about where it might be hiding. The mystery of Planet Nine also raises questions about where it came from and what it means for how planets form. If there really is a planet like this, it might have started closer to the Sun before getting flung out to its current far-off orbit by the gravity of other big planets like Jupiter and Saturn. This kind of thing happened a lot in the early days when everything was still chaotic. On the other hand, it's possible that it got pulled in from another star system, which would be a pretty incredible example of how planets can travel and get caught by different stars. The way things move in the Kuiper Belt, a far-out region of our solar system, is pretty peculiar. Objects out there seem to travel along paths that bunch up together in a way that's hard to chalk up to luck. Considering how huge the distances are and how little stuff is floating around, the fact that these paths line up, especially when they're closest to the sun, hints that there's something hefty and hidden influencing them from far away. To figure out how a single planet could have such a big impact, scientists use computer programs that mimic how our solar system works. These programs include all the planets we know about and any extras we're hypothesizing, like Planet Nine. By putting in details like how heavy they are, where they start off, and how fast they're moving, the simulations can show how their gravity might tussle over millions of years. And time after time, these simulations have shown that a planet with the same traits we think Planet Nine has could explain why those distant objects move the way they do. To make sure they're not just seeing things or making mistakes when they observe, researchers run what's called Monte Carlo simulations. 
This fancy method tests how likely it is for those weird orbital patterns to pop up all by themselves, without any extra nudges from a mysterious planet. And these simulations have helped back up the idea that Planet 9's gravity is likely what's behind those peculiar orbits, ruling out any flukes or errors in our observations. Finding planets in the far-off parts of our solar system isn't easy using traditional methods like taking direct pictures or watching for when they pass in front of stars. The distance and dimness of these potential planets make it really tough. So instead, astronomers have to use indirect methods, like looking at how other objects move because of the gravity from the hidden planet. But not everyone agrees with this approach. Some astronomers think there might be other explanations for what we're seeing, like maybe there are lots of smaller things out there beyond Neptune that we haven't found yet, or perhaps it's the gravity from a faraway star we haven't seen. These different ideas lead to ongoing discussions and more research, showing how our understanding of space is always changing. Every new bit of evidence helps us not only learn more about the possible Planet 9, but also about how planets form and move in general. A recent study called the Pan-STARRS-1 search for Planet 9 is a big step forward in our search for this theoretical planet. Using data from this survey, astronomers have made a lot of progress in figuring out where Planet 9 might be hiding. One of the important findings from this research is that they've ruled out about 78% of the sky where Planet 9 could have been, based on earlier guesses and models. They did this by looking at things up to a certain brightness level in the sky, about halfway to the limit of what we can see with telescopes. This depth of survey is crucial because it strikes a balance between looking everywhere and the practical limits of what our telescopes can pick up in the time we have to observe. The places we're still interested in looking at are really tricky to observe. These areas are close to the flat part of our galaxy where there are tons of stars. This makes it super hard to see faint stuff like a faraway planet. All the stars packed together and the stuff floating between them can mess up the weak signals that telescopes are trying to pick up. The study also talks about what this means for future searches. Even though we've ruled out a big chunk of where Planet 9 could be, there's still about 22% left to explore. So now the plan is to focus on doing more detailed and targeted observations. The upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory is going to be a big deal for this next phase. It's got fancy optical gear and a camera that can see a wide area all at once. This means astronomers can scan those remaining areas much better than ever before. The observatory's Legacy Survey of Space and Time or LSST is going to spend a whole decade looking at the sky, making a big list of billions of things out there, and giving us lots of info about where Planet 9 might be hiding. Because it can spot faint stuff over a huge area, the LSST is super important for catching the tiny signs that could finally reveal this sneaky planet. Advancements in theory play a crucial role in guiding the search for Planet 9, making sure we're using the latest scientific ideas in our observations. This teamwork, which combines data from PanSTARRS-1 and contributions from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, shows how modern astronomy works together. Whether we find Planet 9 or not, these efforts really boost how well we can observe space and how much we understand about it, pushing the limits of what we can explore out there. This approach covers all the bases, scientific theories, observations, and practical work that drive the hunt for Planet 9. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on this journey through space in search of Planet 9. Whether we find it or not, this adventure shows how powerful human curiosity is and how much we want to learn. As we keep looking into the unknown, each step gets us closer to understanding the universe. Keep being curious and exploring with us until next time. Keep looking up at those stars.